After Peter went out of the court of the high priest, the Lord Jesus was tortured and nailed to the cross. There he gave up his life and was resurrected after three days. Peter had not spoken to the Lord since leaving the court of the high priest. But now, after his resurrection, there is a wonderful message of grace for Peter. We'll read Mark chapter 16, verse 7. But go and tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him as he said to you. On Sunday morning, three women go to the tomb of the Lord. They wanted to express their love to anoint him. But at the grave, they receive wonderful news through an angel of the Lord. He is risen. And to underline his message, the angel shows them the empty grave and give them this special message for the disciples and Peter. A message that must have pleased Peter in particular. It was certain terrible for Peter that his sin still stood unresolved between him and the Lord. But what is the special message? First of all, he addresses the disciples in general, but Peter in particular. But go there, tell his disciples and Peter. Wasn't Peter a disciple? Of course he was. But that message must have been specifically for Peter. What an encouragement to a humble Peter that the Lord still had a personal message for him. And then the message comes that he goes before you to Galilee. There you will see him. The Lord lets Peter know where he is so that Peter can come to him. The Lord knew Peter's heart well and knew that his heart needed precisely this information. The Lord tells Peter, so to speak, I am ready to receive you when you are ready to come to me. Indeed, he who comes to the Lord will not be cast out as John 6 verse 37 says. But how is it with you and with me? If our fellowship with the Lord is disturbed, then the Lord is always ready to receive us again. Are we ready to humble ourselves and go to the Lord to confess so that he can forgive us? We shouldn't let our hearts and consciences suffer unnecessarily. His love for us does not change. But it's up to you and to me to experience the full enjoyment of his love again.